844-747-2577. Let's go to, I hope I'm saying this right, Chantry in Nashville. Chantry, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. How's it going? I am living the dream, Chantry. How can I help? Um, so I got approached uh, to apply for a position internally. Um, it seems like it's a great position that I'll be a really good fit. Um, but I love the role that I'm in right now, and um, I'm trying to figure out how to handle that situation with my boss. Uh, did your boss, your current boss, approach you or another boss in the company? Another boss in the company. Well, um, you want to stay in your current role. You want to say thanks but no thanks. Am I right? No, I want to I want to see if the, the other position is worth it. Oh, okay. I thought you already knew that you loved your current role. No, I want to take the new role. You do, or you just want to look into it? Uh, uh, probably both. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm calling you out a little bit because you really love your current role. So this has got to be amazing. If your current role is a nine, then this thing's got to be a 10. Or it's got to be an eight that moves you to a 10. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It feels good to be approached, doesn't it? Yeah. You feel pretty darn good about yourself right now, don't you, Chandra? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, but guess what? That's a little like being flirted with, you know? It's kind of like, oh, that's nice. But we don't break up with some, a great job because we got flirted with for another job. We better make sure that uh, this other job is the long-term play. And so um, I do appreciate you calling me about how to handle it with your current leader did the did the who approached you in the company was it another leadership position that's on on par with your current leader um it's higher up oh my and did they not address this with you to say okay here's what you need to do if you're interested you need to go tell your leader i mean did they not give you a next steps um i have a meeting with the new team uh on wednesday but it's during the work day, so I have to figure out how to. Yeah, but, but hold on a second. Hold on. But that, yeah, but I mean, that's you, you didn't answer my question. If you have a higher up, so your current leader is outranked by this other leader in the company, which is what you said, they shouldn't make you have to sneak around. This ought to be handled leader to leader. So the leader needs to go to them and go, hey, we uh, are thinking about approaching Chantry for this role. Uh, in this case, they already have. And uh, we just want you to give a, we wanted to give you a heads up that he's, he has said that he is interested in that. Why is that on you? That's weird. We would never do that at Ramsey Solutions. You would never have two leaders in the dark about a person moving teams. Hello. Yes. So my question is, did they not address this at all with you? No, no, they haven't. Did you even think to ask them, "Hey, how should I handle this with my other with my current leader?" Uh, I thought it was going to be a lunch meeting, but it's in the middle of the work day. So, so you were okay sneaking around too. See, this is not healthy, and I'm not getting on you, Chantry. I'm trying to give you advice here. You need to go to your current lead. You need to go to this leader who approached you and say, "Hey, how am I supposed to communicate this? What's the procedure?" What do, how do we do that around here? You know, I'm all excited about this, but do I communicate this? Do you communicate this? I mean, what what do you think is going to happen if if your current leader finds out that you're interviewed for another job and you didn't tell him? Yeah, I was just trying to decide when yeah. in the process to tell them. So here's the deal. you got to go to your current leader right now. And you got to tell them. Let them handle it. 